Jamie here, Zero Livers, and we are here for round two of my Hot Map and Setup series. So getting straight into it, we are at Bahrain, getting the DRS as early as possible. And as always, go through one lap, and then the second lap will go through in much more detail. Very heavy braking zone. There's a break all the way in a straight line. Doesn't matter if you overshoot the corner a little bit. It's all about the speed for the left hand to get the throttles early as you can. Stay nice and tight before getting on the new DRS line. Making sure you use all of the track gears, almost off the track, down to third gear for a little extra rotation, a little extra bite, and then using all the track on the exit, all the track on the entry, kiss this curb, and this one as well, but not too much. Braking as the curb starts all in a straight line, second gear, first gear, and again, accelerate fully once you're in a straight line. Trail braking is needed, going up into second gear, try and brake as you can in a straight line, and then once you stop braking, that's where you want to be turning aggressively, before getting on the next DRS straight. Going into this corner, use all of the track on the entry, all the way up to the white line. Breaking between the two last brake meter balls, use all the track on the exit, middle of the track, and then very, very tight to right-hand side. A very wide entry going into this one, a very late apex, really helps you get a good drive coming off this corner. And now into the final braking zone, but one of the trickiest, use all of the track once again, as the curb starts, as we break third gear and get the power as early as you can. And that is going to be a lap of Bahrain coming across the line. It's a 25.2, which I'm actually very happy with because there's no secret. Bahrain is probably one of my worst tracks on the game. I think we'll go continue this lap because you can see there's a lot of time to be gained around here. Many just through my own driving. But now we're going to go on board for a more detailed lap. In itself and I was very very happy with this because you'll see by the setup it's going to be very very good for online so going into this tail one you don't want to be breaking as the curb starts you want to be going into the curb just a little bit more and this is the braking zone about a few meters or five meters into it that's where you want to be braking doesn't matter if you're going deep as I said it's all about the acceleration just get the throttles early and aggressively as you possibly can you can see I actually changed my front brake brake bias back down to 51 to give me a little bit more rotation coming into these corners. Very, very late downshift into third gear. And I keep it in 51 bias for this entire time. This one, just before the curb ends, that's a turning point. Slight dab and then try and go completely fat up for the left hander. As the curb starts, you're in line with that. That's where you want to be braking in a straight line. Second gear, first gear, and then try and get the power as early as you can. Pay attention to the way I downshift here. So it's quite slow to keep the car stable. But you'll notice by my brake application, once I stop braking, that's when I start turning. And you can see here, I'm about to release the brake and now I turn. Because if you turn and brake at the same time, you are just going to lock up straight away. Going to this corner, making sure you use all of the track, as I said before. This one here, about 75 meters out using all of the track fourth gear and don't be afraid to ride while you can see very early on this throttle application stay nice and tight to minimize the distance of the track and this one here you won't be looking to the right hand side that orange uh, barrier that's really what i'm looking for very very late apex into here use all the track on the exit and go into this last corner again it's a track where you have to be making the most of the space you've got available to you and this one here just after the 100 meter board that is your breaking point again try and be quite late on this apex will give you nice much smoother running coming towards the line and we do a 25.2 which a lot of other people around me on the surf leaderboards were using very very different setups from myself and this one here i feel is going to be a very very good league racing set because i'm actually using three seven wings when most other people are using like five seven five six or something like that so they have a much more of a front end that's much more pointy but i find when i've actually tested this online in grand prix mode that my tires just completely burn out because there's just too much load on the tire so to be able to do a time with this setup which is really a race setup and it's going to be very good for online I feel I was really, really actually honestly so happy that because with these wings, 3.7, it just gives you so much traction and straight line speed as well. It will keep your tyres cool and tyre wear down and it gives you good performance. So again, 50, 65, 
differential i don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon suspension is completely default and i know a lot of people will find that quite weird but i just find this just gives me really good balance default setup in this game is actually surprisingly quite good and with these default dimensions here it just gives me a really good balance between low speed and the high speed rotation but the rotation i get is through the suspension the four and the nine the four more towards the right just give me a little bit more understeer to balance out a very high rear suspension will give me a lot of rotation and that is balanced quite nicely by these seven eight roll bars and more towards the firm side again it was just a nice balance between the two having them quite close together and the three four is going to be very good over curbs can put it a bit higher because i have the straight line of speed of a free front wing see the brake pressure is pretty much standard and this one here i had the front tire pressures actually a little bit higher uh the sorry the, the tire pressures on the right hand side because i think you have more right handers around this track and it's just a much more dominant clockwise track in terms of the importance of the corners so i found that setup was really really good although not the fastest I think in an online situation, it will prove to be very, very good. And you may notice a lot of other times, like on PC or faster, that's because they actually have the updated build at the moment, which means, which means sorry, they have the 1.5% extra downforce, which I think is about three or four temps, in my opinion. So that's the reason for that. Hopefully you enjoy these and I'll catch you next video. Peace.